Hi there, and welcome to the Kingdom Sexuality Podcast. We're Alana, Kyle, and Tira, friends who have a heart for intimacy and long to uncover God's truth and design for sexual freedom within marriage. Welcome here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Today we're talking about flirting. But before we get into it, let's read a review. This one is titled, So Helpful, and five stars. Kingdom Sexuality has been helpful to me in every stage, dating, engagement, and now marriage. Oh, that's That's awesome. I love that for them. They have great godly wisdom to share on God's good design for sex and sexuality. I have so benefited from their wisdom and knowledge, and I know you will too. Spidey face. From M. Morange. One. M. Lorang one. Oh, thanks. That's how I'm saying it. Yeah. <laughs> Lorang. <laughs> <laughs> so French. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're starting to add like a group question to get to know each other better. And so you guys can get to know us better too. So the question I chose was, do you name your vehicles? If so, what was your first vehicle's name? So do you guys name your vehicles? I have some of them, but not all of them. I don't think we named my first one, Mm. but my first one was a little Ford Fiesta when we lived in Germany, when I lived in Germany and it wasn't like the Fiestas here because it was like really, really old. So the the Ford made them just for Europe and it had such a small motor that when you looked under the hood, it was literally like a motor and then you could see the ground. What? <laughs> yeah. It was the smallest little standard cute thing. I loved it so much. It was my perfect first So you named it Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> and we were near the Audubon, like a lot of the areas. It's just a rope name for like a highway. Right. And But we did have some like non-speed limit areas in my... It 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 had a hard time just... <laughs> keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> That's going. Especially if I had any passengers in the back, but... Okay, so that didn't answer your question, though. So no, it didn't, I'm it, waiting for the name. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't name it. But, oh, okay. oh, just a good car story. I, I, I was just thinking of like, okay, some cars I name and some cars I haven't. But why um, don't some get names? I don't, I don't know. I just don't like don't like it that much. It doesn't deserve a name. <laughs> no, it's just my. We just called the Fiesta, I think. Okay. Like just, but um, no. Then uh, one of the first cars that we had was a little um, 92 hatchback Civic in like a turquoise nice. blue. And it was a standard and it had a hole in the muffler. Oh, so and it sounded it, like a rice rocket. <laughs> any hill that we went up, it was like an airplane. And yeah. we yeah. we called it the bomb. And so that was nice. like Cute. everybody in my family knew that that was the bomb. And yep. the day we sold it was really sad, mm-hmm. but good at the same time because mm-hmm. it was <laughs> time to go. It was time to go. <laughs> All right, Kyle, yeah. you name your vehicles. Uh, um, yes, kind of. So two, no, our main van that we drive, we took from my parents and well, they gave it to us <laughs> and all growing up, like the van is, uh, it's like a navy blue. Okay. So we always called it big blue. Okay. Uh-huh. So the, our van is called big blue. My first car I had, I don't think I named it. I wanted to name it the Silver Bullet, but we already had a silver car, and that's what we had our family. Silver car was the Silver Bullet. Mm. Um, but my first car that I owned that I named, I named her Lucy. Aww. We named one of our cars Lucy. What? Really? Yep. It I named a, one of my kids Lucy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It was a 2008 <laughs> Golf. Okay. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Hatchback. Yeah. Oh, nice. My first car was a neon, nice. a red neon. Nice. I don't even think they make those anymore. I don't even know. Probably not. Anyways, and her name was Holly. Oh, cute. Oh, was my first car. Yep. Nice. And Jeff had a red, really noisy car. So we called him Smoking Little Red because it would literally, like, you'd see it coming down the road and it would just, like, trail of smoke <laughs> behind it. And it was so loud. Yeah. Did you guys ever watch The Buried Life? No. Oh. It's like these four guys. They're from BC here. I think they're from Victoria. And they had a list of 100 things to do before they die. Mm-hmm. And they just went out and did it. And they filmed it. And their show was on, like, MTV. But they had a big purple bus that they traveled in. Mm-hmm. And they named her Penelope. Okay. Uh, That's the only other, like, car name I can remember. Yeah. Oh, no. All of our vehicles have had names. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Wow. What's your current one, then? Um, our van, her name is Sylvie. Sylvie. He's, my van's name is Wanda. Oh, Wanda. That's a great nice. name. Nice. <laughs> that is good. That's good. It's a good one for a van. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Bible verse. Oh, yeah. is proverbs thirty-one twenty-eight. her children rise up and call her blessed her husband also and he praises her 
Mm. Nice. That's mm. good. That's good. So, all right. So today's flirting. episode is flirting. Yeah. So, as we were talking pre-show, um, what is the definition of flirting? I didn't know. <laughs> I'm like, you can see lots it's, happens it's, in it's, his relationship. It's, <laughs> it's one of those things like you know what it is yeah. and you know when it's happening, but right. I don't even know how to put it into words. Right. Like a yeah. Webster's dictionary definition. Yeah. Yeah. But you had a good definition. Yeah, I just said like it's your you're wanting to let the other person know that you are interested in them. I said it way better before. You said <laughs> doing something to get someone else's attention to let them know that you have an affinity towards them. Yeah, that's totally what she said. Yep. yep. That was uh, it. Thank you. <laughs> that was it. And I thought it was great. So that's probably why <laughs> yes, I remembered it. Yes. And then hoping that they reciprocate. Reciprocate. reciprocate yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. It's a good Sweet. thing I have friends. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> good team. Good team. Um, so I thought like we could talk about what a normal couple kind of goes through in the flirting stages. Because I feel like it does go up and down and so like mm -hmm. you know like at the beginning you have your meet cute moment and then all of a sudden like oh there's that subtle flirt of like okay well i want to know if you're interested mm -hmm. but i don't want to give it away too much mm -hmm. you know so like the you know i'll stand beside you a little closer mm -hmm. or laugh stand at your in jokes. your bubble <laughs> yeah <laughs> laugh at your jokes yeah um all of that chase you around the playground there you go <laughs> yeah and then when you mad yeah <laughs> well, yeah, if you're like, oh, you're five years High old, married at 12. <laughs> you're going to think I'm so weird. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. Um, you know, then once once it has gone full and you've had the conversation and then like all of a sudden it's official and now you're dating. Yeah. And then I feel like the flirtation kind of kicks it up a notch because mm -hmm. once you know like, okay, yeah, I think they're the one, then you start getting more... Mm, pushy with the boundaries of mm -hmm. you know and that flirting has the sexual tension behind it as well right, right? and flirting i feel like boundaries. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 fun and i feel like <laughs> that's what you know when somebody talks about like oh i wish we flirted more in our marriage again mm -hmm. i feel like that's that's the timeline that or like that's the time right. where they're probably missing right you know because the tension that tension yeah, yeah. and uh yeah the longing and the desire yep yeah because you can't have it yep. and so it makes every little flirtation moment like amplified Heightened. because <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like just like teeny tastes of something but you know there's more and you don't yes. know yeah yeah totally and yeah. so of course when you're married that completely changes yeah in some aspects <laughs> the mystery is not there in some ways yeah because it does yeah you i was thinking like you could use it though right like use it to your advantage yes. especially when you're not together then like yeah you were saying like it's amplified, right? Yeah. Well, now yeah. it's amplified and you have an outlet for this amplification now. Yeah. 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 And then, you know, during engagement, closer to marriage, I feel like that's when stress starts to actually come in a lot more, right? Mm. You're wedding planning, you're dealing with family, you're dealing and all of a sudden it kind of, like, and just... then finally you're like, oh, finally we're at the wedding. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. And then, and then all of a sudden that flirting is somewhat dwindled. Right. Maybe it's still high the first bit because, yeah. you know, there's yeah. like cheeky flirting yeah. of like, yeah, now you can like flirt and then it can lead to stuff. Yeah. And so you maybe do that. And then I think it, yeah, it kind of ebbs and flows, I'm sure. But there comes a point, it kind of seems to happen where couples get a little bit stagnant or, you know, that whole feeling like roommates. Yes. Going through the motions of yeah. your busy life. There's things, there's jobs, there's kids. You're like, yeah. when am I being intentional about flirting with my spouse or like pursuing them? I mm. think that's maybe like the underlying part of flirting is like yeah. the pursuit. Yeah. 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 And like excuses for why we don't. And, right. You know, that, well, and we're married so now. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't need to win them over. I don't need to, mm. I don't need to come over to them hoping that they feel the same about me. Because hopefully I isn't, know that they know the same. Isn't that a thing <laughs> with women? They're like th like a fear when you get into a relationship because like the chase is over now and they're not going to want to like still pursue you in that way. I don't know. No? Maybe. I don't know. I heard that. Like that women <clears throat> worry that their husband won't do that anymore? Yeah. Because yeah. the chase yeah. is over, right? Totally. Like they've, they've won. Yeah. Right. I suppose. Yeah. 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 And I think definitely like, yeah, when kids, when kids enter the picture too. The, I feel like 
the touchy, flirty mm. changes, right? Because so many women are like, oh, I just feel so touched out. Like, right. mm, don't try to grab me. <laughs> don't yeah. try to, you know, like all the little things that used to work now, yeah. now need to change because right. but it's not going to work. I feel like all of us deep within our hearts would agree that we want to be pursued. For oh, sure. yes. Right? Yeah. So like, I feel like everyone yeah. has that like deep innate longing for their spouse to pursue them. Even if they don't know if there's like, I want you to pursue me. What What do you want me to do? Yeah. Like, it wouldn't, I, I can't tell you what to do. Like, I just want you to long for me, like pursue yeah. me. Like what, like, yeah. and so I think that's the part that trips people up. It's like, well, I don't want this to be an awkward thing. Mm -hmm. I, this is uncomfortable for me. I don't know how to be flirty and yeah. whatever it would come across as fake or right. ingenuine and not real. I think though, it's also one of those things where it's better to get it then I like, get like get it and have to ask for it then not get it at all right like you yeah. you were just saying like i don't know what to say to you right. like i would just want you to long for me yeah i don't know if that would be like the most helpful to your spouse right yeah like that's what we want but that's not going to yeah. necessarily help you get it because we probably need more direction than that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. so especially I, as we've changed yeah too. so like, and, and i think it's one of those things that can develop where I feel longed and desired if you blank yes. and hopefully your spouse is smart enough to pick up on that and then not need to ask you every time like, Oh, mm -hmm. what do you need for me to feel desired or to feel mm -hmm. wanted? Because I think that'll wear itself out eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. it just feels, you feel it more when you don't ask for it. Yeah. 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 And it's very much like an emotional, you're it's, it's very tied up in emotions, right? Yeah. Especially like yes. often women are more emotional thinkers. And so if we're saying like, well, I just need this and I don't know, I can't mm. tell you what I want. Right. But to instead, I remember one point in time, Jeff and I made lists on each other's phone. It was like, Alana's five mm. healthy needs or whatever. Yeah. And so I just put like, you know, it was things like going to bed at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, eating dinners together, yeah. like random things like that, that when we do it, I love it. Yeah. And when we're not, I'm suddenly feeling like a disconnect. Right. Yeah. So random things like that. But if you're doing it and translating it into like a flirting or a pursuit, you could think, okay, and like, just think like three or five. Okay. How could my spouse really practically pursue me mm. in a way that would mean the world to me that might not be a ton of work for them. And I yeah. would bet a lot of people can't put that into words. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I think a lot of people need to have like, like a, a heart search mm. as to like, what does that actually yeah. look like for yeah. me? So I can explicitly explain this to my spouse so they know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't think that a lot of people have maybe even ever thought about that. Yeah. yeah. What it's, it looks like. It's probably tied into love languages. For sure. For sure. Yep. Yeah. That would be a place to start. Yeah. 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 Um, like is it, are you wanting the quality time sort of like pursuit yeah, and right. time together? Like, yeah. But I think too, and I mentioned this before we started, I think fun plays a huge role in flirting. Yeah. To make it should it, be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it makes it like from just like a pursuit or like a, I don't know, a thing to do, to need to check off a list to like a fun thing that you're both enjoying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause when you think of flirting, it's not like one person's having a bad time. <laughs> like, oh, I have to do this for my spouse. It's like, no, it's fun for it's, both of you. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Especially if you are the flirter, you are, <laughs> that was a funny word. So. Flirter. <laughs> you like seeing the reaction from your spouse is like, oh, that was, that felt so good because mm -hmm. they yeah. reacted this way or they loved it or like mm -hmm. it, it worked. Mm -hmm. And then obviously the flirty or the receiver <laughs> is like, Hey, he or she did it. This, this feels yeah. awesome. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. I've been reading a book uh, called The Flirtation Experiment mm -hmm. uh, by Lisa Jacobson and Felicia Masonheimer. And it's just about these two women who wanted to put flirting back in their marriages. And I loved how she, like, the first chapter is just about how awkward she felt, mm -hmm. like, intentionally doing it. And it was about, feeling that vulnerable like well if I do this is he gonna mm. think like I'm totally whacked like what has happened like why are you acting this way this isn't what you normally do right and she explains like what her first one was she commented on her husband's muscles <laughs> and, <laughs> and like she said the moment it came out of her mouth she was like oh I can't believe I did it like and and he laughed and thought it was awesome 
And, and just like that little bit of confidence where it was like, okay, no, like that. Yeah. That actually meant something. We could do this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, she said like, just by her doing, she, she decided to do one like intentional flirting thing a day and he reciprocated without, Hmm. without even like knowing that this was going on, you know, and it, it again was a more confidence boost and it brought a lot more like fun into the marriage and they both felt pursued because she did it first and then he came on board and it wasn't like, it wasn't hard things at all. And the book is actually really good. Like if you, if you need ideas on how to, the book is written for women. I wouldn't recommend it for a guy. I don't think. Um, but just to, especially like in the church, sometimes we have like, well, the guy is supposed to be the romantic one. Right. He's supposed to pursue me and, mm. you know, discarding that and going, no, like we both need to pursue each other. Yes. And uh, so this book kind of helps you get over that hump a little bit and, and talks about that. And so, yeah, there's tons of different good little ideas and they give personal stories of like what happened. And like, Cute. even as I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can, I can do that. Yeah, I could do that. And so like, even just putting it in my own, like it's been, it's been really fun and they're not hard. Like, like that one, like she just made a joke about how strong he was and that was it. And like one of them, I don't know, it's just like little things like, you know, saying goodbye at work or like, you know, when you leave for work, instead of doing a peck, do a big long kiss, you know, like just simple things like that, which is a little change. Um, And I thought, you know, you can even bring it to, um, what are those little things that you did when you were dating? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know that, okay, I'm going to stand in your bubble. Like that's just like a little bit close. Okay. But pause for a second. I want to go back to something you said, because you said that she did it more and then he started reciprocating. Yeah. And I love that because one of my favorite like quotes, I guess, is the fastest way to change your spouse is to change yourself first. Mm. Yeah. So if like, if you want your spouse to do something, you start doing that first. Or if you want to see a change in them, you make that change first. And right. yeah. chances are they're going to end up reciprocating. Yeah. And so just hearing that, it like totally validated that for me. Mm-hmm. I was like, yes, like that is yeah. still so true. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. Because that's often a place where people get tripped up. People, they like, they listen to this and they're like, oh, well, I'd love for my husband to flirt with me or yeah. pursue me, mm-hmm. but he doesn't like, yeah. So he needs to listen to this. Yeah. Versus like, <laughs> maybe, it's like maybe when it starts with me. It's like when out. you're sitting in church and it's like, oh, so I hope so-and-so is yeah. listening to this right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I always love it. Like, yeah. In church or something where they're like, okay, I know you're going to think of somebody else that this yes. applies to. I want you to think about yes. yourself. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 No, I think it's good. Yeah. What are some of the things that you guys have done or do? Or, or like to do, yeah. Or like to receive. Good question. Mm. I love when Jeff is like silly and funny. Like that's like the best. Mm. You know, like the goofy voices and the the dancing around mm. and like the winks and the like, that's my favorite because it's just really fun. And I think, like I've said before, like fun is just like it makes it. I don't know. It just like your like heart gets more full because yeah. you're filled up with joy and Mm -hmm. it just kind of explodes into it. So for me, it's all around fun. Like when I'm thinking of flirting and whatever, it would be just like the fun of it. This is so great. More marriages need fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For me, I think it's uh, more touch. So like, you know, coming around while I'm cooking dinner Mm -hmm. or Mm -hmm. um, dancing in the kitchen Mm -hmm. or the longer kisses. Like that's, that's usually it for me. Nice. Yeah. What about you? Um, the, like the muscles thing, like the words of affirmation, that kind uh, of stuff. That's, yeah. that's, I like that. Yeah. I'll tell a funny story. So <laughs> for our kids' birthdays, we like to take them out on a date and like just mom, dad, kid. So Sam and I, and we, our second, he just turned six. So we took, we took him to a baseball game and we were at the baseball game and we got like all the baseball food. So I had a foot long hot dog and I, took some took a bite of it and I was like wow this footlong is really good and Sam looks at me and she says uh, I like yours uh, better <laughs> like, those are the things for me that like the, like the little innuendos or like even like the little yeah. sex joke comments like mm-hmm. yeah. those for me are funny and I appreciate those very much but like just as much I appreciate like 
just a yeah. comment or whatever. Yeah. 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 Like the inside jokes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those, yes. Like that kind totally. of. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So speaking of fun and how people can add fun into their marriages, because it sounds yeah. like it's an important thing to do. We have something that's coming out soon um, called Unite and Ignite. And the month of September is going to be all about fun. So um, there's going to be an episode <laughs> or their husband, an episode <laughs> on United and Ignite. So you can go and learn all about that. Um, but essentially, how much do we want to dig into it? Well, just like we, we help give you ideas, ideas. on how, how to, to book have fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give you, you we're going to give you guys daily tasks or activities that will put fun back in your marriage. Mm -hmm. And there's an accountability aspect to it to make sure that it actually gets done because it's really easy to sign up for something or to say you're going to do something and then just not do it. Like oftentimes someone will buy one of our eBooks from us and then they're like, Oh, I didn't download it within the first 30 right. days. Can you yeah. send it to me again? Like yeah. it's so easy to yeah. forget about those things. So we've added an accountability aspect to it to make sure that you guys actually follow through on this yeah. and do it because it's going to be beneficial to your marriage. Yeah. And we'll throw in fun prizes and yeah, we've got lots of those, surprises. There's, there's lots of, there's yeah. lots of good stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But it's a really practical way if someone's like, well, I don't know how to get started. I don't yeah. know how to come up with the ideas. We did it for you. So you can just have fun. Yeah. It's super connect. affordable and it's done for you and it will be fun. Like yeah. if you, mm -hmm. if you go through the whole month and didn't have fun, we'll give you your money back. <laughs> You're, yeah. it's, it's not it's going to be impossible to go through it and not have some fun yeah. but if you manage to you can have your money back yeah. <laughs> and then each month will be a different theme yeah. so so the for our first one because we all like fun we decided to do fun first so that's for the month of september and you'll just have to keep listening to find out what october is yes so cool. yeah all right well i'll pray sounds good so dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this day and for this time where we just kind of get to reflect and look into our own hearts and just kind of look at our spouse as well and just see, okay, like how can I be pursuing my spouse differently and how can I explain to them as to what I need? And so I just ask you to cover those conversations with grace that, um, yeah, there would just be really great connection because of this, that people would have fun in their marriages again and have that fun flirting time with a like really close connection. So we just ask you would bless all the listeners right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey friends, thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If you like our content, please like, review, and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts and tell your friends too. Thanks so much for journeying with us today as we tackled the hard questions and dive deep into godly intimacy. Make sure you follow us on Instagram to see more of our content and check the show notes for any links we might have mentioned in today's episode. We're so grateful to be on this journey with you and we can't wait to see you in the next episode.